Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another gorgeous evening in the garden. Temperatures are finally cooling down. It's starting to feel actually like fall or autumn, which is really, really exciting to me. Um, I'm still on this flower kick and I found some really amazing 3D flower molds on a couple of different places and I've been playing and they're just so much fun and so pretty. And I wanted to share this with you guys tonight and make some with you guys on camera. So I'm probably going to be using these for a project coming up. And uh, they're just so pretty. Though. It's just, it just trips me out. That's just so gorgeous. I love it. Anyway, okay, so let's get started. Uh, I'm using art resin tonight, the hardener and the resin itself. And I have several different molds. We're going to be using this little piggy pigments. HOA, if you want to swoop over here. You can see all these gorgeous colors that we've got. I've got Venus, I've got Aspen, I've got Supernova, I've got Aphrodite, I've got Zeus, White Haven. Zeus is at it again. Zeus is at it again. Brulee, Show Pony, Afterglow, my gorgeous Echeveria, of course. That's my signature color, so love that. And uh, we're gonna have some fun and we're gonna play. So um, these are all the different molds that I've got. These are. The ones that I've done previously looking really, really cool. I love this one. I wish I ordered a couple more of these, but I only have one for the moment. This one is this peony. It's beautiful. This is a little succulent. This another little peony. And some roses over here that are really, really cute. So I'm going to scoot these over for a second so that we can mix up our resin without getting anything dirty. Let's move that over. Okay, so we have a TCP Global Cup with the graduated markings. So with this art resin, it's one to one. So 50% of one color, 50 or 50% 50 of the resin and 50% of the hardener. So we're gonna start off, I'm gonna shoot for about 24 ounces of resin total. So that's at the 12, 12 ounce mark, we're gonna switch to a different, the other kind. So 12 ounces, tell me when I get to 12 ounces HOA, okay? okay. And then we're gonna need your phone again for the three minutes. Here we go. Um, wait a second. You want... 12 Sorry. and 12. Okay. And that's 10, right about there. Right? 10. And then we're gonna go up to 12. And that's about 12. There. Okay. That's good. And then we're gonna pour. 12 ounces of the other one in there. And then we're going to ask HOA to set a timer for three minutes on his phone. And we will stir for three minutes. So we're gonna go for another 12 ounces, so we're gonna get up to the 24 ounce mark on this one. Sixteen. 18. Yeah, I'm looking at it, I'm watching. If you would be so kind as to set a timer for three minutes. All right. Okay, here we go. And now we stir. We're going to speed this part up for you. Some cups out and we're gonna do different colors with our this little piggy pigments um, I definitely want some afterglow because I haven't gotten to use this one yet and it's a beautiful color so I don't think we're gonna mix up a ton of this but just a little bit so I'm gonna get that open I'm going to pour a little bit of the resin into one of the cups. I'm not going to do a lot on this one. That's probably way more than 
enough. I'm going to want to very little sticks from Fluid Art Co. And I'm literally just going to put not even an eighth of a teaspoon in there. And we're going to mix that up. That's a very pretty color. Wow. Very neon pink. Okay, so we're going to do some of these little tiny roses with this afterglow, one of them at least. And I'm going to pour it in there nice and slow because we want to give it time to go into all those nooks and crannies. And then I'm going to use my stick and just kind of go around the insides of the petals. Fishing for bubbles? Mm-hmm, exactly. I'm not actually filling it up all the way because I don't want it to overflow. Get a stick. These bamboo skewers. It's funny, this bag has so many holes in it now. Okay. I'm just going to go around. just a tiny bit more on top of that to actually fill it up. You don't want your molds overflowing though because then you have to figure out a way to clean that up. <laughs> okay so that one's done and it's good to like squish it a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna put that one over there. Uh, let's do one of these little ones in that afterglow also. It's a pretty color. off that edge where it's overflowing. It's much easier to clean this up now while it's wet. So that one's good too now. We're gonna just squeeze it a little bit. Squeezing it just a little bit. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do this little itty bitty tiny one too. a quick torch before we're done to pop any of the bubbles that are on the top. Okay, let's mix up another color. Which color should we do next, H.O.A.? You want to do your Aphrodite? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to pour a little bit more of her because I want to do the big one. One of the big ones. That one. Okay. Aphrodite. She's so pretty. This is golden peach, and this is comet. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, let's bring this first one over. Here we go with Aphrodite. That's going to be like exactly the right amount. <laughs> Which is good. So, 
all of these molds are from Amazon, except for these. These are from Etsy. But um, I did make sure that every one of them that I'm using says the word resin. Because previously, when I tried to do some resin, this was last year, I had gotten some molds from I think Michael's or Joann's or something like that. And they were food molds. They were not resin molds. And it seemed like it worked, but then when I went to unmold them, the resin actually stuck to the mold in several places and it was very hard to get it out. So, okay, and now the difference between this one and this one, I like this a lot better. This is a lot more stable. This seems like it could be very wobbly and jiggly, which I don't think is such a great thing. So. Yeah, but it's less material for the person who needs Yeah, but you know. <laughs> okay. So we'll move that cup over there. Next color, HOA, what do you think? Should we do some show pony? Oh yeah. Let's do some show pony. Love a show pony. What do you think about there? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Ideally, you would be wearing a mask when using the piggies and mixing them up. Once they are wet though, you're fine. You don't need to worry about your mask anymore. Um, the art resin, one of the nice things about it, is they say you don't actually need a mask. I'm going to go ahead and recommend that you have a respirator, you wear it anyway, especially if you have any health issues. Um, but the thing that I like about it is that it's no VOCs and it's supposed to be able to be used without a mask, but I'm still gonna recommend you wear one anyhow. The respirator, not a mask. Stay joy they're two separate things. And slow, take your time. To the people who make the resin molds, it would be extraordinarily helpful if you would tell us what the volume of resin needed for each mold actually is. I don't yeah, know why it doesn't say that. Emboss it right under the mold. Look at that. Practically perfect. In every way. We're gonna just go around the edges in this one. Real quick also. Make sure all the surface area is in contact with the resin. And I'm not worried about these bubbles on top because I am gonna pop them. I'm gonna torch them all real quick when we're done with everything. Okay. Okay. So that one's done. Next color, each way. Zeus. Zeus. Zeus is at it again. Okay. Should we do one of these big, big, big ones in Zeus? It's a good color to use. Nice and bright. Which one? So this one for this size, or one of these, or one no, of I'm these? Like that one. That one? Okay. Look at that one. Zeus. I love this color. It's so beautiful. It just dries amazingly gorgeous. I did a, a little jar thing in Zeus. Oh, God, it's so pretty. It's gorgeous. Okay. You know what I was kind of wondering is when you're done with this, if you dipped your stick into that color and then you swirled it into one of these other I colors. I did do that last night on uh, this one. It was transparent and then I put a little bit of Comet that was the iridescent in right, the middle. That's a great thing to do. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, a lot of fun with resin. HOA did a turtle. You did your birthday. I did. I did birthday Father's Day turtle. <laughs> I knew. He was really cute. Actually, I've got a turtle on my shirt right now. Yeah. Okay, so this is ready to go. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I lost. Okay, let's pour this in here. Nice and slow, make sure the mold is clean. Here we go. Got that Yeah. 
That's pretty good. pretty good there aren't any bubbles in this but see of that one mm -hmm. gonna need a vacuum chamber if you want to do a lot of this <laughs> <laughs> any excuse to buy toys huh <laughs> been wanting to build one for a while okay that's pretty good okay so we'll move that one over there and you want to make sure the surface that you put them on is level. That's very important. Level is important. Okay, let's do one of these little roses. And Zeus also. Zeus is at it again. I don't think any chance Zeus had to be at it, he was at it. <laughs> <laughs> Never gets old. Yeah, I'm just going to squish this one around a bit. Okay. Let's do one of these. That's this little succulent one. So you just want to be careful when you're buying the molds. If it says like fondant or chocolate mold, that's okay. Just make sure it also says the word resin on there. left. Let's do, I don't want to do any more of the big ones. We'll do one more of these little roses. Good. Okay. Next color. What do you think? Let's do an Echeveria one, huh? What do you want to do? It's one of my favorite colors. Mm -hmm. And then we do like that. Really, you need to do the color. Of course, I'm using another jar. I have some jar, I think. I think. Yeah. You can. I think it's very slippery with it. Gloves. Slippery with gloves. You find it. You can get all these TLP colors at fluidart.co. So it's www.fluid-art.co. Okay. That was pretty good. Okay. Are we going to do this one or one of these? Let's do a bigger one. You think? Yeah. Do you have enough? Yeah, I think it would be. It could be cool if you two-toned it also. What would you two tone it with? Okay. Uh, let me get another cup. <laughs> Sorry. All right. <coughs> For a little bit of this in here. Let's put more in there and then we'll just mix up the brulee because that's the other color that I'm going to want. This one. white and gold combined so pretty. It's beautiful. And these stir sticks are so great for resin because you just let them dry and then the resin peels right off. It's awesome. Really? Mm hmm How about paint? Yeah. Paint comes off after mm -hmm. it dries? So you can see this almost looks like a coppery shift yeah. on the Cool. Okay, so let's put a little bit of this on the very, very inside, just so like the tips of it 
Or this color? Just the tips. Because I walked right into that one. <laughs> All right, you crack yourself up, don't you, honey? <coughs> Jeez, I crack myself up. Lucky are the easily amused, for we will never be bored. That's right. Okay, now we're going to put the echeveria on top of that. I'm going to go in and just make sure that we get contact. Pop a couple air bubbles that I see already. Okay. And now we're going to put the echeveria on top of that. I'm going to pour it from the middle, kind of so it pushes that brulee out. Ooh, very strategic. That's sticking outside of the mold. <laughs> or actually inside of the mold, actually. You're so funny, my goodness. I know when telling you. I'm on a roll. Let's do one in brulee now. Let's get this. Okay. I think I want to do this one in brulee. That's that one. It's going to be so pretty. I can't wait. Okay. You ready, darling? Mm -hmm. Not that there's much to see in this for you, but. With ones like this, I'd like recommend pour it a little bit, then wait a second, let some of those air bubbles come up. So don't do what you did. No, not filled all the way up. Feel free to do it just like I did. Don't listen to HOA, he's crazy. What's that? Aphrodite. It's empty too. I think this is going to look dynamite. Hmm? So I think this is going to look dynamite. Yeah, it's going to be really good. Cool. Hey, it's an Octovaria. <laughs> it's got eight leaves on the bottom. up a little bit and pull some of that pink into the edges and in that clear and stir it up a little bit. This is going to be really pretty because the leaves all have the brulee in them. Okay, that's really cool. Okay, I'm going to do this one next. It doesn't look flat. All right. What do we got left? We got one, two big ones left and two little ones. Well, I don't know if we're going to have enough for both of them. Maybe we'll leave this one out and we'll just do this one. What color should we do, HOA, do you think? Would you like to see maybe Venus or Supernova or Aspen or anything? What are they? Are they flowers or... or yeah, they're all flowers. <laughs> Okay, 
going to do Venus. I'm just going to do the rest of the resin in Venus. Okay, so when you're working with resin, you want to have baby wipes handy because they are very helpful in getting the resin off your hands. And then when you have your bucket like this, just get your stick and stick it to the side and it'll dry like that. And then once the resin is dry, you just pull the stick and the resin comes right out of the cup and you get to reuse the cup again. Very groovy. <clears throat> it is pretty groovy. Okay, I'm going to mix up some Venus. Venus on the mountain top. I'm going to put kind of a lot in there, this one. This is beautiful, it's such a pretty color. Okay. All right. Let's do this big one first. So I'm impressed with how these pigments, these piggy pigments. They're beautiful, and they're amazing. Okay, so that one's good. Now we have enough for these two little ones. Let's do, and we'll do a couple more of these if we have some extra left over. See, these little ones take very, very little resin. <laughs> I've learned a lot from watching cooking shows. <laughs> we have one more in here we can do. Actually, let's see if we can't get this little last bit of brulee out and put it in there on its top. We'll just go around the perimeter. Maybe she's got it. Okay. All right, so this was a lot of fun. I enjoyed this a lot. <laughs> I hope you guys did too. <laughs> I promise I will not unbox them or unmold them without you. Uh, Cause it's a lot of fun to see that happening. So I am gonna give these a torch right now though. I'm actually gonna move the done ones out of the way so we have all of our new ones together it's weird shaky one closer <laughs> so goofy sometimes it's funny all right, so now I'm going to take out the torch and I'm just going to give all these one quick pass with my torch to pop the bubbles on top. Isn't that amazing? Oh, and you said quick, you're not quick. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't kidding. Okay. So. 
So, I'm just stirring this up a little bit. So pretty. Okay, this is looking pretty good. So, these will be dry tomorrow. Um, I'm going to force myself to wait the 24 hours. It's very hard for me to wait the 24 hours. I know, I'm, I hear you saying it, but... It's so hard. You only get even, even odds on it at this point. Yeah, you know. Hey, yeah. you're lucky you're getting even odds. So I'm just wiping off the excess resin off of the sides of the mold because you don't really want that to dry on there because it's harder to get off once it's dry. It's much easier to get off while it's still wet. Okay, so that looks pretty good. We'll be back tomorrow for the unmolding. Welcome back, beautiful people. Okay. It is now almost exactly 24 hours later, and we are going to unmold these resin flowers that we poured last night. So I did do one of them because I am not a very patient person, but look at how pretty. Look at how cute that is. This one, I believe, was Aphrodite. Yeah, this little piggy Aphrodite. So cute. Okay, shall we get to it? Let's Indeed. do this one. This is a peony. Okay. So I hope I can do this without looking like I'm fighting an alligator. <laughs> sometimes that happens with resin. Okay. Well, sometimes you win, you get a purse. <laughs> okay. There's our peony. That's so pretty. I love that. So you remember I was saying about clean the resin off before it's dry? Because now it's dried on there and I can pick it off, but it's going to take a while. Anyway, let's move on. Let's do this little one in Zeus. So the easiest way i found to do these is loosen the edges up. And detach it and then kind of pull it down. And then with your fingers on the other side, push. <laughs> this is what I meant by wrestling with an alligator. There we go. Released. Ta da! Look how cute! Very cute. <laughs> is that all one color or? Yeah, this one is Zeus. Beautiful. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, let's do a little one. You're savoring, I can tell. I love this. This is like the most fun. <laughs> Tiny beanie. So cute. I think this is the same. Let's see. Reminds me of one of Baxter's Oops. bones. I think that one is Afterglow. So that's a very pretty color. It's beautiful. Cool. This one, I believe, is Venus. Yeah, Venus. I think. Okay. Well, maybe not. Maybe that's still Aphrodite. No, I think that's still Aphrodite. Is that the same color? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm sure we'll find one. <laughs> This one, I believe, is also Afterglow. This one is Afterglow, too. Pretty little rose. Okay, let's do this itty bitty little one. So cute! Okay. Let's do one of these big guys. This one was Echeveria. This is the big peony. Oh, and this one was the one, who did we put? Brulee in there? That's cool. That's so pretty, I love that. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm -hmm. So a two-tone flower. Uh, I wanna save this one for last because that's the one I'm most excited about. That's the Camellia. So this is another peony. This one is show pony. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Ain't no workhorse. 
That's a show pony. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, this one. You know what? I, this is Aphrodite and these are Venus. To be honest with you. Let's see. Because this is darker. Yeah. I think this is Aphrodite and those are Venus. Okay. Oh. So pretty. I just, I love these molds. I can't get over how like beautiful and perfect it is. It's such a trip to me. Let's do one of these big ones. Is that the one with the clear? Uh, this one was brulee and a little bit of, I don't know, I have to go back. Ooh, that's so pretty. Yeah, this one was brulee and maybe a little bit of one of the rem remnants of Maybe the afterglow or the Venus or something. So pretty though. Cool. Let's do the Zeus one. Zeus is at it again. There you go. Beautiful. Very cool stuff. I'm so excited about this. I love this. Let's do this little one Zeus also. Another rose. Small ones are really tight. <laughs> Very cool. Let's do the little succulents. Oh, there's another two tone one. Oh, that's gorgeous. I love it. Oh my god, that's so pretty. Isn't that cute, HOA? Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Wow, look how cool it is. Such a gorgeous color. So cute. I love those. Oh my goodness. Okay, the moment of truth. The one I've been waiting for. this one inside out if I can. Look how beautiful! A little of that. That's brulee. The pinky gold highlights in there. So pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay, so. That was awesome and a lot of fun. Um, I definitely enjoyed this. This this is like very exciting stuff to me. So I do have plans and I am thinking about what to do with all of these resin flowers, which I will show you in another episode. But this was a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, Fluid Art Boutique is rapidly approaching. Uh, I've been getting my stuff ready. I'm kind of like just buzzing with excitement and energy. It's really going to be an awesome, awesome time. And I'm looking forward to seeing all of you who are coming. Um, and I wish you could all be there with us, but I understand. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for being here. Um, we'll see you real soon. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Bye-bye. I love that. Oh, that's so pretty. Color. Gorgeous. All right.